Congratulations on the purchase of your Hobby Zone Fighter Bird. The purpose of this video is to walk you through some of the final assembly steps that are illustrated in the manual. This is not intended as a replacement for the manual, and we encourage you to read it thoroughly before you fly. Before completing assembly, you will want to apply your Fighter Bird's decals. Two sets of decals are provided that you can apply to suit your particular style. Once you've applied the decals, the first assembly step is installing the landing gear. Simply insert the wire main landing gear in the slot provided in the bottom of the fuselage near the front of the fighter bird and check that it is secure. A tail wheel is included with the fighter bird that you can install later. We recommend that if you've never flown a Hobby Zone airplane before, you fly without the tail wheel until you're familiar with the fighter bird's performance. Installation of the tail wheel is covered in the manual. After you've installed the landing gear, you're ready to attach the one-piece wing. Simply take the wing and line up the dot on the front of the wing with the seam in the top of the fuselage. Center the half circle of protective wing tape over the boom. Once you're satisfied that the wing is centered, attach the wing using the four rubber bands that are provided. Stretch two of the rubber bands from the front to a rear attach point Crisscross the other two across the middle. Once the rubber bands are in place, check for a secure fit. The Fighter Bird's gun attaches to the bottom of the fuselage, like so. Once it's securely in place, you can plug it into the connector slot located on the right side of the fuselage. Once the wing is secured and the gun is in place, you're ready to install the Fighter Bird's battery. You'll want to ensure that the battery is fully charged before your first flight. The Fighter Bird comes with a field charger that plugs into the cigarette lighter of your car. It takes approximately 45 minutes for a full charge, so you'll want to anticipate this before you head out to the flying site. You will also need to install eight AA batteries in the transmitter. Once the transmitter batteries have been installed and the Fighter Bird battery is fully charged, you can install the battery in the fuselage. Before installing the battery, you'll want to make sure that you turn on the transmitter. Installing the battery without the transmitter on can cause the Fighter Bird's motor to start involuntarily. To install the battery, open the self-closing canopy and insert the battery like so. Once you're satisfied the battery is securely in place, you can go ahead and plug in the connectors being careful to keep your hands and fingers clear of the propeller. Once the battery is installed, press the arming switch on the side of the fuselage. Move the transmitter's throttle stick to make sure that you've got proper throttle response. While you're testing the motor, you should also move the rudder stick to ensure proper movement of the control surfaces. Moving the stick to the right should cause the left control surface to deflect upward. Moving the stick to the left should cause the right surface to deflect upward. 
Once you're satisfied that the motor and the control responses are correct, it's time to get ready to fly. You want to launch the fighter bird using full throttle and a level tossing motion. Tossing the fighter bird at too high or too low of an angle can cause it to crash, so proper launching technique is very important. Hold the fighter bird at the bottom of the fuselage like so. Apply full throttle and toss it into the wind using a level motion. Always make sure to clear the area around you before launching to ensure that you don't hit any people or objects. You also want to make sure that your fingers are clear of the propeller area anytime you apply throttle, whether launching or testing the motor. To score a hit, you must be behind your opponent and within 50 feet. When you score a hit, your opponent's combat module will emit a high-pitched tone and their motor will be disabled for 10 seconds, during which time they maintain complete directional control. We hope this video has been helpful. Everything you've seen here is presented in more detail in the manual. Please read it before you fly.